Lighting effects can add extra realism and fun to your virtual hardware. Any shape, display component, or LED can light up, if, is lit, is enabled on it, whether it's on a component, module or device panel. The logic to determine when something lights up, is done via a state configuration, or a lit method, or a combination of both. A state configuration is applicable when you have a component that switches states to show an unlit, or lit state. E.g. an LED or a warning indicator. You can see the LED has two states, showing how it looks when it is off and on. On this device panel, we can go into config mode, and assign data to determine the state of the LED, i.e. whether it is on or off. In our example we are using the light landing variable which has the value of 0, when the switch is off, or 1 when the switch is on. By applying an action of on, and a custom value of 1, we are configuring the LED to turn on when the light landing variable becomes 1, otherwise it will turn off. Going back to the LED, we can see that a lit method has been assigned to it. The lit method is data-driven, which means, whatever variable is assigned to the LED, it will track the variable's value to determine its state. I.e. if the variable is 1, it will go to state 1, which is on. For appropriate variables, this allows even simpler state configuration on the device panel, as all that is needed is a variable. So simply assigning the light landing variable will have exactly the same effect as our previous example. The COM1 radio module has displays that light up, because the display component was built with, is lit enabled. The text labels have been made to light up as well as the border. Note that the text labels and border have, show unlit state enabled. When something lights up, it lights up using its foreground color. When it is not lit, nothing would appear, unless show unlit state is enabled. The color used to show the unlit state can be set on the colors menu. The two rotaries are connected to an invisible button that toggles, gestures enabled, between each rotary, allowing the same touchscreen area to be used easily for either rotary. The small LED on the rotary will light up when the topmost rotary has gestures enabled, clearly indicating which rotary will operate when a suitable gesture occurs on it. The module has a lit method of avionics power, which means everything that lights up on this module will need avionics power to do so. The small LED will also need avionics power to light up, as well as its component having its gestures enabled. The rotary and push button modules used on this device panel, have borders that light up, just like the COM1 radio module, however, they do not have lit methods of their own. To make these modules light up, we will need to provide a lit method on the device panel, in this example, we are going to use bus power 24 volts. Because these modules do not have their own lit methods, the lit method on the device panel is inherited by the two modules. The same principle occurs with modules, where a component does not have its own lit methods. The component would inherit the lit method of the module. In fact you can assign a single lit method on the device panel, to control all lighting, right down to individual components. In summary, a lit method cascades down to the objects below it, until another lit method is found, and in turn this newly found lit method then cascades down to the objects beneath it, and so forth. Lit methods can be assigned on device panels, modules fitted onto device panels, modules and components. This provides a great deal of flexibility in controlling lighting. We will now move on to panel lighting effects that are only available on a device panel. The Flight Sim I.O. server has an option on the Settings tab for a dawn, dusk, night effect. 
When this is enabled, the device panels will slowly start to darken as dusk begins, slowly lighten as dawn occurs, and go completely black at night. Anything that lights up, will show up on the device panel in the darkness, but everything else will be barely visible. Therefore, the device panel needs some form of panel lighting, in the same way as an aircraft panel needs lighting. To enable panel lighting on a device panel, we need to enable, has panel lighting. Optionally a panel lighting fades effect can be enabled, which will fade the strength of the lighting from top to bottom. Next a panel lighting method needs to be chosen. The most obvious to use is panel lighting, which tracks whether the panel lighting switch is on or off. Finally, choose the color you want for the panel lighting effect. We will now show all these lighting effects in action on a tablet. For our demonstration we are using a very cheap and low-powered Android tablet, to show that expensive high-performance tablets are not needed in most situations. In the flight simulator, we have the Beach Baron parked up in a cold and dark state, at night time. As you can see, the device panel is barely visible. We will now turn on the battery master switch. We now have 24 volt bus power in the aircraft, so the items relying on the bus power lit method being available have now lit up. We will now turn on the avionics power switch. With avionics power available, the comm radio modules light up. We will now turn on the taxi light switch, to show the taxi light's LED light up. Finally, we will turn on the panel light switch, to show the panel lighting effect, allowing us to see the full panel in the darkness. If we now turn off the battery master switch, whilst leaving everything else on, you will see everything turn off, as power is no longer available. The Flight Sim I.O. server has a power tab. By default, the electrical main bus voltage variable is monitored using a suitable value for either a 24-volt system, or a 12-volt system, to determine if the aircraft has power. This is done automatically for every aircraft. If you find that this variable is not suitable to determine aircraft power for a particular aircraft, you can provide suitable variable settings in the aircraft power section. This concludes our tutorial, I hope you found it useful.